All right, joining us now is Greg Marshall. He's the head coach of the Western Ontario Mustangs. And Greg, you guys uh, just arrived in Saskatoon, and you got a game again uh, uh, next week. What's how important is it for you to be here? Well, you know what, uh, uh, Brian had invited me, uh, you know, a couple years ago, and uh, uh, we were, had a commitment with Laval. And when he asked me this uh, this winter to come back out, I certainly agreed. We, it's a great opportunity for our players to come out and play against one of the top teams in the country. And you know, but then you know the Laurier game got added in late. And you know what, we made a commitment to Saskatchewan, and I'm one who believes in it. If you commit to do something, that you know your word's good. And uh, uh, you know, we decided to, to you know, honor our commitment to come here and play. We play Water, uh, Laurier on, on Wednesday. And you know what? I mean, players are, our players are young, they're athletic, and they'll be ready to play. It's the coaches that, uh, you know, get worn down in some of these games. Is a game like this kind of a, a future of a potential interlocking schedule? Well, you know what? I hope it would be. Um, you know, I know that uh, Brian and myself have talked about it, you know, a lot before. And it would be great to have, you know, a, na a national interlock weekend where, you know, you, you play teams from other conferences. I think you would get, you know, increase the interest. You know, I mean, I, you know, Saskatchewan played Calgary a couple of times last year. They play them a couple of times every year. It's good to bring somebody new in to play. And uh, I think it is, you know, I know the financial thing is one of them. But if we increase the interest in CIS football and so that uh, you get enough fans of the game to cover the cost, the travel cost, to offset those, you know, Whoa. costs that are incurred by the visiting team, you know, we can make it work. So it's something that uh, we talk about all the time. I hope it happens. Okay, and if we look at uh, tomorrow night's game, um, maybe you could talk to us a little bit about your old fence. I, I know you're replacing, uh, you know, a CIS All-Star quarterback in uh, in Michael Folds. Yeah, Michael Folds is a great leader and a great quarterback, and you know, started five years for us, and you know, you know, won a, a bunch of set a bunch of records and won a bunch of MVP awards, and uh, but you know, it's time, and you know, that's part of uh, coaching the CIS and. Um, uh, right now, uh, the starting quarterback tomorrow night will be my son Donnie. He's uh, just going into his third year. Um, he's different than Michael. He's very, very quick. Uh, he's got a strong arm. Doesn't see, he doesn't see, you know, well because he's short. But he can get, he can move around. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have a, a good transfer from Wilfrid Laurier, who's attending our law school. Started at, at Wilfrid Laurier a couple years ago, sat out two years, got into law school. Ian Noble will, will give us some depth at that position. And I think we recruited an outstanding freshman from uh, Nova Scotia in Ben Rossong. And so, you know, the fans tomorrow night are going to see Ben for uh, probably at least a quarter. Okay. And what about some other guys on old fence that, uh, that you think the fans of Saskatchewan would like to see? Well, you know, Nathan Reeve, I believe, is one of the top tailbacks in the country. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he pulled his hamstring three days ago and uh, is still going under, undergoing treatment. And I doubt Nathan would be ready till probably week two or week three of the season. But the good thing is we have some depth at, at, uh, at running back and that we have, uh, you know, Ken Enser, uh, Benny Roberts, uh, John Lecky. So, uh, we, you know, they're all three very, very good running backs. And we've got some big offensive linemen that can push people, uh, you know, up front. Matt Norman is, uh, is a good enough offensive line. Um, and as you'll see, uh, beside him, Josh Buttrell is a fifth-year offensive tackle. So we're pretty strong and, uh, and, and experienced on the left side of our line. And looking at the defensive side of the ball, who are some exciting players you have? We're, 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 we're good at linebacker. We're good and deep at linebacker in that, uh, you know, we have, I, I believe, six linebackers. They're all capable of starting and playing in the CIS. Uh, led by John Serla, who was the first team All Canadian middle linebacker last year, uh, had an outstanding East West Bowl, is our defensive MVP. You know what? You're not, he's not going to impress anyone with his size or speed or his strength. He just makes plays. And, uh, you know, on either side of him are Jason Kostic and Adrian Kaiser. Both can play, so, um, and they all can run. So it'll be an exciting, uh, exciting t game tour because you know, we, we don't get a chance to play, you know, an offense like Saskatchewan that often. Okay, and one last question. I think you know, the, the Huskies were you know, arguably a play away from maybe making it to the Vanier Cup, like any other Canada West. You guys also kind of had a heartbreaking loss uh, that didn't allow you to get out of the conference. What's the frame of mind of the team heading into this season? I think probably the same as it is here, hungry. And that, uh, you know, it, it showed in our off-season conditioning. You know, our, our players, uh, not that they, they might have been complacent the year before with, you know, winning the AIDS Cup and, you know, back-to-back, -back, but you know what, they're hungry right now. And I think that... that uh, uh, we've had a great off season, a great summer conditioning, and so far, a great training camp. So uh, I expect to see pretty, two pretty hungry teams going after it tomorrow night. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good, thank you.